All right, let's try it. This thing is tough. It's very tough. I tried the low gear and everything. Everything's working fine. I had a service about a uh, last summer. So, uh, look what I had to do on the other side of the truck to get a level. Because if I don't get a level, that cabinet on top there, it will slide forward and hit me on the head all the time. So, I had to find a rock and do that <laughs> level it out and I got a level back here I got one inside that is as good as you're gonna get <laughs> all right so here's my little trailer I don't know if I showed it uh, when I bought it it um, it was just the the L metal and I did this little platform in the front so I can uh, do this uh, basket for the for the cooler and I also paint the uh, painted the the existing uh, wood floor uh, it's cracked a few boards are cracked but they're pretty thick so they'll hold I'm not going to replace them. So, this is a pretty quiet uh, spot. Um, back in, in that area, <clears throat> I can hunt that area right from here if I want to. And, uh, but I'm going to try the other, uh, the other end. And, let me see if the if the bear tracks are still there. It was just a small cup when I was here uh, about three weeks ago, I think. Or, let me see. I just started walking out here with my coffee in my hand, and it was the bow season. 
and I just started walking around and I think I saw something on the slope maybe the rain because it rained uh, yesterday they had a storm a small storm so maybe it washed it away already uh, let me see I think this is it right here. So there's one, two, and they were coming down. Those two are the front paws pushing, holding the weight. There's another one, there's another one, and there's another one. So they were coming this way, and they came down. The dirt is really soft. It's not going to show the claws like you usually see i seen plenty of those and one time i saw a, a big one and then i heard him he, he must have smelled me because he was up up in front of me i didn't see him but i sure heard him he was thrashing through the brush pissed off growling because he didn't like what he smelled and I had a 270 uh, Ruger with a 130 grain bullet and I looked at the rifle and I said no this is not that bullet is not big enough I need 180 to do some damage 130 is gonna be, piss him off so I found a, uh, a dead uh, log and I lay right next to it and got as close to the ground as I could so he wouldn't pick up my scent uh, any closer and wouldn't get all you know pissed at me and coming at me and stuff so i said no i turn around as soon as he got away a little bit he moved further away i, I get up and turn around and went back to the back to the truck i'm not gonna risk it i don't want to shoot a bear anyways uh, i'm a deer hunter i don't i don't need bear now if he comes at me then that's a different story I'm gonna have to hit him what I got regardless but I always try to stay, stay away from bears I don't look for them and hopefully then they will find me <laughs> so this is my little camp uh, I don't know in the camera it looks very bright I hope the oh wait a minute